Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Moist Plasma again. Uh, today we're going to be working on the uh, elevator cap so that you'll get rid of this gap around the elevator. And uh, I'll be showing you how to make how I make that in Blender. And I'll probably start working on some of the assets for the helipad also. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to go into Blender. And I'm going to select everything with two taps of the A key and the X key to delete everything. I'm going to make a new cube and I'm also going to import uh, FBX for um, the elevator so I know how to size my um, cube appropriately. Alright so there's the elevator that I'm using for um, the actual lift mechanism so I just need to scale this to about the same size. This is going to be to make a hole in another piece. So we're just going to scale this up to right about there. So you can see it's um, a little bit smaller. So I'll just go up just another little bump. And I'll slide it over a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So now it's much longer on this axis than I need it to be, so I'm just going to scale it on X and bring it down uh, right about there. Alright, so then I can get rid of this. don't need that anymore. I'll hit X to delete the elevator. And then I'm going to duplicate this, this cube, with Shift D and click on it, and then it'll allow me to move it freely. If I right click, it will just put it back to its origin, but there's still two cubes there, as you can see over here. And I'm simply going to scale this on the Z. Um, it doesn't matter, we can adjust it later to meet the appropriate height. And then I'm also going to scale it on the X and Y. Uh, false alarm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go into edit mode face select, grab this one, and I'm going to pull it out um, two meters, two units. So I'm just going to hit G, Y, negative two. And then I'll do the same thing with this side. I'll do G, Y, two, so it's the opposite direction. And then I'll bring this one out two also. So that's going to be GX this time and negative two. Now this one's a little bit different. We're going to do four meters in this one or four units. So it'll be GX four. So now as you see from a top down looking in, this is going to be a, a ramp to the ground. So it's not like a, a step up or anything like that. And then this will just be like a, a buffer pad around the area to get rid of that gap in the uh, terrain. Alright, with that done, we can select the entire cube. We can go out of edit mode, back into object. We can select the entire smaller, or sorry, this flatter cube, and come over here to the modifiers. And we're going to add a modifier, add a boolean, select difference, use the little eyedropper to select the cube in the middle, Click Apply, and we're going to delete the center cube. And now we have a pocket, and that's perfect for us. All right, now I'm going to do a fit check on this in the game. So I'm going to come into edit mode, select all with A. I'm going to hit U to unwrap, and I'm going to select Smart UV Unwrap. Hit click OK. I'm going to come over here to the Materials tab, make a new material, just hit Assign, and that's good. All right, now we're going to export it. So we're going to export FBX. I'm going to export it into the folder I have for all the other things, and I already have one in here for this. So I'm going to select it, name it whatever you want. Over here in the Export Settings, Make sure you go to Geometry and select Face, uh, from Normals only to Face. And that'll get rid of some of the smoothing errors it has in um, 
when you import stuff into Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to hit export. All right, I'm going to jump into UV4. Delete this real quick. I'm also doing some testing before I started filming. All right, so we're just going to import it. We're going to elevator shaft cat cap and drop it in here. I'm not going to import any materials to it because I'm not going to use them. I'll just delete it anyway. So uncheck those two and import. All right, before we place it in the scene, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to come over here and scroll down to collisions and select use complex as simple. Hit apply. When that does, it makes the mesh, the collision instead of a like a collision box. So if I come back to project defaults and I hit collision and show simple, kind of has this weird collisions about it. So I just take it and make it use complex as simple. And that makes the entire mesh the collision. Save that, close it, come back out. I'm gonna drag this into the scene. I'm gonna rotate it 180. And I'm gonna start sliding it back. And it should fit just inside, or just outside of these upright pieces, which are part of the lifting mechanism. So there's that, I come this way, right about there. So let me check these now, see if they're embedded. That one's a little bit embedded. This one's got a little bit of a gap. All right, that one's got a little bit of an overlap. And so does this one, so that's good for me. Let me check these back ones. It's too much, so I'm going to come back. I also want to cover up this stoned face, so it looks like this was poured in here as a mold, like that. Okay, so let's go down now until we meet this um, wall for the shaft. So I'll come back up a little bit to hide that, like that. And you can see that these lights are poking out and they're also going through the concrete. So I'm just gonna take that whole thing and delete it because it kind of lines up with uh, the one below it. So I will delete that. All right, so that's good. Now these are also kind of embedded in the concrete. So I'm just gonna take this group of them and I'm gonna raise them up. I'm gonna hold, sh uh, hit end. Oops. Maybe not, I'll just have to drag them down. It's not working for some reason. I believe end um, should match it up to the, the mesh below it, but it's not working for me. So I'm just gonna drag it down, boom. All right, so that's that. That was pretty simple. Let's uh, test it and see if we can see any obviously, obviously anything wrong with it. So ride the elevator up. And it looks pretty good. It meshes pretty well with the the elevator. Um, I might need to slide it back slightly, so that's a small gap there. Yeah, I'm gonna slide it back a little bit. This is why I do these fit checks to see how these things uh, look. Try that again. Yeah, now there's a little gap there, so it looks a little better than it being like flush up inside of it. There's a gap on this side, so that this um, so this piece that rides in this track isn't running into the actual cap here. And this side looks like it could be pushed out a little bit. Hmm, okay. 
Maybe I'll just slide the elevator over a little bit. Just gonna bump this over just a tad. And test it. All right, so there's a gap there now, and there's still a gap on this side, which is good. All right, so that works. So we know the fit is good. We're gonna jump back into Blender, and we're gonna make this part a ramp. And I'm gonna do that pretty easily by just going out of edit mode, I'm going to hit Shift A to make a new cube. Go into top down mode. I'm going to bring this back to the origin. Uh, we can hit Shift C to bring the cursor back to origin, then Shift S to move selection to cursor. So now it's centered. And I'm going to scale this until it's about the same size, maybe a little smaller, like that. And then I'm going to scale it on the X again that. I'm going to make one on the keypad so I can see the side profile. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to hit R to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it about six degrees. I'm going to bring it down. And I don't want it to come all the way up to um, this wall. So I want it off a little bit. So I'm going to slide this over right there. Now you can kind of see how it um, has a, a flat top, as if you had a ramp. You wouldn't want the ramp going right to the edge. You'd have, in real life, you'd have a flat spot. And okay, so I'm actually going to rotate this another three degrees, so make nine total. So I'm going to hit one, rotate on the y-axis by another three degrees, and I can push this down like that. All right, so now I'm gonna take this. I'm going to go to a modifier, add a Boolean of type difference, take the eyedropper and select this cube, hit apply, move this cube up, and you can see that there's a ramp. All right, so I'm gonna delete that. Now this is all very angular, and like, you know, in real life there would never be such a sharp edge, especially on concrete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm going to go into edit mode. There it is. Go into edge select, select this edge, this one, all these perimeter edges, and these ones also. Actually, I'll do those one second. I'm going to hit control B for bevel, and I'm going to pull outwards a little bit, just a little bit, and I'm going to scroll up with the mouse wheel and get some extra breaks in there. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way that looks. Let's try doing a bevel modifier. Looks better. Let's make this smaller though. I don't need it that much. Let's do 0.025. Yeah, we'll add three segments. better. I don't want to add a bunch of segments. So I don't want to, um, I don't need it to have super sharp edges or super smooth edges. It's not a huge detail. But it did put bevels on this bottom lip, which we don't need because it's underground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add a cube. It's probably an easy way to do this I don't know about. But uh, basically, I'm going to scale this on the X and Y like that. I'm just going to bring this up um, just to it crosses the bevel portion. So I'm going to go into Z. Whoops. I'm going to hold hit G and hit X. I'm sorry, Z, and bring it up just past that bevel. And then I'm going to add a Boolean modifier. Add the bevel. Let me add the boolean 
difference again. I drop or select this cube, hit apply, and then delete it. And now it's flat bottom. So we just took out some um, tries, and probably not a whole lot, but I try and keep it as low as possible. All right, so now everything's beveled and smoothed out nicely. Let's, um, oops. Let's rotate this 180. No, we've already turned it in the game, so it doesn't matter. So uh, we'll go into edit mode again, select all. We will hit U to unwrap, do smart UV project. Okay, then I'm going to come into here, assign all of this to material one, and hit export. Save it as the same thing. Back into UV4. Now we're gonna click on right click on this and hit reimport. Alright, and now let me add my white material to it because why not? Alright. So now it is smoothed edge, so it's not super sharp like uh, a razor's edge, and it comes down to uh, the ground so that it's a ramp for whoever wanted to wheel a dolly up on here or something or maybe the forklift had to drive up and put a box on it and the box would lower down this ramp and they'd pull it out with another forklift and I don't even know if that would fit on there but that's just besides the point so let me test this out and see how it looks when we're playing ride this up if you guys want to see something I haven't explained yet, like the flashing light or the elevator blueprint, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to show you guys. So that rides up. So this looks nice. There's a nice gap there. Where like in a real elevator, you'd be able to see down, which I like. And then you have this nice soft ramp that comes down. So that's nice. And it all looks pretty good. It covers up the hole around the uh, edge nicely, and you can't even tell. All right, send that down, see how it looks. So I'm gonna try and jump down here and hit a lip and see if I can't look at the tops of these and see if there's a gap here. I might need to lower that bottom lip a little bit and see if I can cover it up. Oops, darn, wrong button. So we wanna look at this and see if there's a gap and there is a gap. That's an easy fix though. We're just gonna come into Blender. Gonna come to the bottom side. We're gonna hit face select and select this face and this face. And simply just drop it down. It should be plenty. So we'll we will file file export that as an FBX again. Export. And then we'll come into our assets folder um, and re-import it. All right. So I'll test it out and make sure that gap is gone. Perfect. It looks good to me. All right, that'll be the end of this video. I'm gonna start working on assets for the rest of the helipad. And then I will come back to you when I have figured out the layout and everything like that.